Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie Robinson and today we are going to be doing a big unpack, clean, get it all done with me. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, tap the little bell for notifications and let's get started. I hope you guys find this motivating. I have my little guy along with me so you may hear him in the background and he's teething so it should be fun. Um, we've been out of town for about a week or so um, spending time with family and people that um, mean a lot to us that have been going through a hard time. So that being said, I have a ton of bags I have to unpack for my whole family and a lot of dishes and clean up to do. Okay, so when I said I had a lot of things to clean up, I was not kidding. These are just some of the bags that we have to clean up. That bag, this bag, all these bags, and there's more bags in the other room. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm starting here with the kitchen and I'm drinking my coffee because your girl is tired after traveling. I have so much to clean up here, so many things to unpack and just like prep for the week. So I'm starting by um, just putting dishes away, cleaning up my cabinets. You can see my little guy is hanging out with me, um, straightening up. Now I'm actually just scanning old receipts into my receipt app. Um, I use the Fetch Rewards app. If you guys don't know about this, I definitely wanted to learn more about couponing, but um, I don't have enough time really to go through and clip coupons. So what I do is I scan in my coupons and take pictures of them on the app. It's super easy and you actually get, um, you get money back in whatever kind of gift cards you want. So um, I usually redeem it for Amazon gift cards and it's great. Now I'm just putting away dishes. I don't know about you guys, but my dishwasher does not dry my plastic pots and bowls, so I have to let them air dry overnight. And I'm just washing out my diffuser. If you guys use um, oils at all or anything that you diffuse, make sure you clean your diffuser. It's really, really important to do. Otherwise, you're diffusing mold and other chemicals into the air. And I just have a little oils drawer here. Um, and today I am going to diffuse one of my favorite combos. It is Christmas Spirit and Vanilla from Young Living. Um, I do really like their oils, but I think there's a couple other good brands out there as well. I really like Do doTERRA oils, and although I've not used them personally, I have looked into their growing practices, and they're something that I can definitely get behind. If you guys want more information about oils, you can always message me, but I know a lot of people out there are selling oils, so I don't want um, that to discourage you guys. However, Christmas Spirit is a bomb blend. If y'all aren't um, Young Living members, let me know because I have a discount code for you. I just let that diffuse. The citrus oils in the Christmas Spirit boost mood and they actually wake you up. There's a lot of neuroscience behind it. If you guys are unaware of the neuroscience of essential oils, let me know and I would love to share it with you. So we got our diffuser going. Now it is time to tackle the dirty dishes. about you guys but I love a good sink clean from start to finish I love watching people get their dirty dishes done and have their sinks be so clean and so tidy by the end of it <coughs> apparently drew man loves it too I believe this sink is a soapstone sink I don't actually know because we are renting this house but um, let me tell you, it is high maintenance. You have to like scrub out any scratches it gets. It is a tough one. So if you have the option of getting a soapstone sink, I would not recommend it. 
I do have a non-toxic sink soft scrub. If you guys want the recipe, um, shoot me a message on Instagram. My new Instagram handle is actually um, Katie I Robinson. If you just shoot me a DM on there, I'll send you my recipe. It's also posted somewhere on my oils page, Mindful Mama Matters on Instagram, but it's basically a totally non-tox recipe. You can add oils or you don't have to at all. Um, mine has jade lemon essential oil in it, um, blend, and I also, it's, it's like baking soda and vinegar. It's fantastic stuff. So now I am just um, cleaning up the rest of my sink. I have this giant sponge, if you guys um, see the big, big old blue one, and I use it really to wipe up water on my countertops. I find it so handy because I don't know about you guys, but I definitely get a bunch of water on my counters when I wash dishes and other stuff. So having a giant sponge to clean up is so, so handy. I also wear an apron when I do dishes because it keeps my um, clothes dry because otherwise I just seem to splash stuff everywhere all over myself. Now I'm cleaning out my Dyson stick back. Oh my gosh, this thing, you guys, if I didn't have this, I don't know what I would do with my life. It's kind of extra necessary because of that yellow lab you see there. Um, but Drew and Daisy track in a lot of dirt, let me tell you. And having this Dyson stick back is fantastic. Now I'm just gonna do some steam mopping. I love my steam mop, you guys. This steam mop I got when um, we got married and I use it. It is truly the only thing that can get the dirty dog paw prints off of wood and uh, laminate floors. So we had laminate in the other house. We have wood, um, fake tile, real tile in this house and it's fantastic. One, another reason to only use non-tox cleaning products in your house is the fact that if you have a little guy like mine, he's into everything. So we're always really, really careful about what we use on our floors. It does not have to be Young Living. It doesn't have to be Thieves products, anything like that. Just be really careful and always read your ingredients list because baby's skin absorbs any kind of cleaning products, dry or wet, into the bloodstream through their capillaries in less than 24 seconds. People um, have a misconception that it's only when things are wet. This is absolutely not accurate. So um, make sure you look into what the ingredients are that you're using on your floors, on your windows, anywhere that your babies are touching when they're crawling or when they're walking around. Now on to my messy living room. This is just real life, you guys, but um, we keep blankets on the couch a lot because Daisy just comes in with muddy paws and we'd rather her have fun outside um, than not. But our couch has seen better days, let me tell you. We've had it for quite a few years. Um, Michael actually got it for me as a present, but it looks really rough right now and that's okay. Um, it's just loved and lived in. So cleaning up the baby's toys, cleaning up the dog toys and then cleaning up the couch. So it is a process, it's always a process, but it's, um, it's life. So now I'm just vacuuming in here. I use this vacuum when I need extra power on our rugs. Um, it's pretty, pretty great. Daisy and Drew have a love-hate relationship with the vacuum cleaners, so they are just hilarious um, when they see the vacuum cleaners. <laughs> see them coming around and Drew is running away. Oh man, those two. Just 
just give him little man a little bit of extra love because I felt like he was having some emotions after um, being a little bit scared by the vacuum cleaner. So now I'm just straightening up the, um, the couch and fixing the cushions because Daisy, even though she's a dog, seems to think that she's a cat because she lies on the back of the couch like a cat. So it's very strange, don't understand why. She just does it. But it results in all of our cushions being totally smushed down and looking terrible. I know nobody's gonna ask me where my couch came from after this video. <laughs> so now I am just um, wiping this down and spraying it with my go-to multi-surface cleaner. I highly recommend if you guys do not um, do this already, you need to let your multi-surface cleaner sit. If they are any have any kind of disinfecting or um, microbial properties, they have to sit so that they can kill things. I'm doing the same thing on Drew's piano. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the TV stand and my harp as well. Um, I am wiping these down with, if you can use any microfiber cloth. I use a Norwex cloth. I don't work for Norwex. I don't get money from Norwex. My mother-in-law bought them for me, but they're really great. I gotta tell you, another big fan of their products. Now I am just um, unpacking suitcases. We did some traveling this past weekend and I am just grabbing everything out of the suitcases. It's like exhausting to travel and then even more exhausting to unpack. I don't know if you guys have the same feelings or not. Maybe it's only me, let me know below. And when you have little helpers, it's extra cute, but also takes a little bit extra time. <laughs> I wouldn't change it for the world though. Drew has such a fascination with like everything and anything hinged. I don't know if your kids, um, if you have kids are like this or not, but I am going to do an unpack with me video and clean up video for um, another clip because I do have kind of like a travel series um, and this laundry is not gonna happen right now because let me tell you I am tired and I just can't get to it today so it's um, gonna sit and that's okay you know what have some grace with yourself it's a lot so I'm gonna clean up what I can and then the rest of it I'm probably gonna leave in a pile on the bed and put it in the closet and do it tomorrow it's just life Oh, there goes Drew, and he has some old foundation. And that was definitely the easiest way to get through that bassinet. enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up again hit the subscribe button comment below let me know more videos that you would like me to do and I couldn't do this if it weren't for all of you so make sure you hit that subscribe button tell your friends about it hit the comments button and help me keep growing this channel thank you so much bye bye